Hi, this is Blake Levine, and today I want to do a talk about job hunting with a positive outlook. So for anyone that is looking for a job, you may feel like it's a little bit difficult to find the perfect position. There's a lot of us that send out resumes to opportunities that sound phenomenal, and we feel very excited about the job, and we really hope that of all the applicants, they definitely consider us and they call us and they want to have us as part of their company. And I learned a very good lesson a long time ago working with a coaching client, which is if you only send out one resume to one open position, you're limiting your possibilities of success. You have to figure that in a difficult economy, one good job may get 200 or 300 or even 400 applications. So it may be helpful to put together a number of applications, submit a number of resumes, and see if from that you find anything that clicks. I wanna share that in one of my books, I discuss a situation where I was helping someone and they didn't really find any good jobs. They had worked in sales for many years. They were hoping to find a very high paying salaried position, uh, again, with commission for any large sales they made. And it took them a long time to try to find that. And for many months, they were unsuccessful. And I shared with them that it may be helpful just to try to take the commission job for some time to see if it's worth exploring and the person ended up doing that and they found that it was a product that they were able to sell and they ended up making money and I know that's a tough decision for all of us because we all would love a good salary to be paid what we're deserving and for some of us we don't get that we may have a good education may have even went to college or graduate school and it may be tough to find something that gives us a high enough salary to live a decent life so in those ish instances, you have to say to yourself, what do I do? Do I accept the job? Do I do something that's maybe not up to my full abilities? You may have a business and say, hey, you know, should I keep going with my business or should I take a job? Or you may need to do both. You may need to find some type of position that brings in money and then keep your business and dream alive. And that's a very important lesson. I want to say in my own life, I've taken jobs at different points along with running my coaching business. And I've had to say, you know, it doesn't make you a failure if you need to find a way to subsidize your business. And for many people that have been building businesses over the last few years, it can be hard to generate enough revenue to stay successful. And during those times, people have to learn how to survive. And if it means taking a part-time job, uh, there's all types of things out there. They have what's called the gig economy these days where you can do things like Uber or Lyft or other types of uh, delivery services. I know Uber has Uber Eats and there's things you can try to bring in money. I don't know too much about how successful people are with them, but for some of us, it may be an option if you have a car and you're looking for some type of opportunity, there may be some type of part-time things available. I just wanna suggest to you to keep your hope going during a job search because for many of us, it can be frustrating. We may have sent out dozens of resumes. We may have been on corporate websites trying to fill out their applications, hoping that it would lead to calls. And when we don't get it, it can be very disappointing. You can say, why aren't I getting chosen? Is there something wrong with my resume? Am I not the type of person they want for the job? And many of us begin to feel sad and upset while we search for a position. And I just wanna to say to you, Keep going and remember that you are important, you are valuable. Every company could benefit from someone like you in their workplace. And even some of the most successful people in the history of the world have had down times. They've had a business fail, they've had a job not work out, they've struggled to survive. And many of us go through these kinds of ups and downs, but it doesn't matter till the end. You have a full life and hopefully by the end, of your time here on earth, you will be a success. And part of that is adaptability. As a species and as a person in the work world, we sometimes have to adapt. We may wanna do it the way we've always done it or have the job in the field we've always been able to work in. And then things change, industries change, jobs change, and life changes. And we have to say, can we find a way to adapt? Because that's one of the key things for figuring out how to succeed in life is to be able to adapt to all types of changes and problems. And I'm sad, but I want to admit that for most people, life hasn't been easy since 2008. It's been very hard to find incredible opportunities and jobs. Maybe some of us have, but for the majority, it hasn't been an easy time. And I just want to say for you and for all of us, I hope that it works out better. I pray that you find the position 
that allows you to allow light into your life. If you have a business, I hope it works out and gets stronger and more successful. And I want to thank you for watching this. This is a great book I wrote called The Positive Worker, A Guide to Developing a Winning Attitude at Work. It shares lots of lessons teaching about how to have the best possible work experience. And I do a life coaching program. You can learn about it on my website, blakelevinecoaching.com. I thank you so much for watching this video.